Homily for the Second Sunday of Lent Year B. Themes, Faith, Trust, and Transformation. Dear brothers and sisters, on this second Sunday of Lent, we are presented with powerful readings that invite us to reflect on the themes of faith, trust, and transformation. Through the passages from the book of Genesis, Psalms, Romans, and the Gospel of Mark, we are called to examine our own journey of faith and our willingness to surrender our lives to God. The first reading from the book of Genesis recounts the story of Abraham's willingness to offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice. This is a test of Abraham's faith, and his obedience to God's command is truly remarkable. As he prepares to carry out the sacrifice, an angel intervenes and provides a ram as a substitute for Isaac. This story reminds us of the depth of Abraham's trust in God and his willingness to surrender everything, even his most cherished possession, to the Lord. Abraham's act of faith foreshadows the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who willingly gave his life on the cross for the salvation of humanity. In the Gospel passage from Mark, we witness the transfiguration of Jesus, where he is transfigured before Peter, James, and John on the mountaintop. His clothes become dazzling white, and Moses and Elijah appear, conversing with him. This extraordinary event reveals the glory of Jesus and foreshadows his passion, death, and resurrection. The Transfiguration is a pivotal moment in the Gospels as it strengthens the faith of the disciples and prepares them for the difficult journey ahead. It is a glimpse of the glory that awaits Jesus after his suffering and death. Through this event, Jesus reveals his divinity and his unique relationship with the Father. It is a confirmation of his mission and a source of hope for his disciples and for us today. In the second reading from the letter to the Romans, St. Paul reminds us of the depth of God's love for us. He asks, if God is for us, who can be against us? Paul assures us that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. In the face of challenges, trials, and tribulations, we are called to trust in God's providence and embrace the transformative power of His love. As we journey through this season of Lent, we are invited to reflect on the messages of these readings and apply them to our lives. Like Abraham, we are called to trust in God's plan for us, even when it seems difficult or unclear. We are called to surrender our will to God's will and place our faith in His guidance. The transfiguration of Jesus reminds us that even in the midst of our own trials and sufferings there is hope. Just as Jesus' glory was revealed after his passion and death, we too can experience transformation and new life through our own crosses. Lent is a time of self-reflection, repentance and conversion. It is an opportunity for us to allow God to transfigure our hearts and renew our spirits. In light of these readings, let us embrace this Lenten season as a time of deepening our faith and trust in God. Let us be open to the transformative power of His love and allow Him to transfigure our lives. May we walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living confident that nothing can separate us from His love. As we continue our journey through Lent, let us draw closer to God through prayer, fasting, and acts of charity. May we imitate the faith of Abraham, the hope of the disciples on the mountaintop, and the love of Christ who gave himself for us. May this season of Lent be a time of profound spiritual renewal and growth, and may we always walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.